I'm talking to you from the revolutionary vehicle from Arcus, the Scarabay, which is his first presentation abroad and here in Abu Dhabi, as Arcus intends to market it on this part of the world. I'm pleased to, uh, to welcome you. So I am the Lacroix Middle East Regional Manager, Olivier Priuso. So uh, I'm happy uh, to, to welcome you. And we have a new uh, launching project we would like to uh, share with you. So this is uh, Galix uh, iOS and Acoustic and Navigation. So the, the system is based on detection. We use uh, an acoustic detector. Okay, from Metavid Defense, we, uh, which is a really long-lasting partner for us. And we have also the reaction based on Galix. So we are coupled detection and the reaction through control units we have designed and developed and qualified. And we are providing a recommended maneuver to the crew so that we can optimize the self-protection sequence after firing the Galix smoke in the direction of the threat. So the basic version is only reaction. So the crew does not know when, what time they have to fire, in what direction. So the beauty of this new technology, new system we are providing now is that we can use the detection so that we know the direction of the threat, we know the azimuth, we know the elevation, with an accuracy plus minus two degrees, so that we can arrange in a semi-automatic, automatic mode, the firing in the direction of the threat. And then, thanks to the connection with the weather station and navigation, GPS, INS, we can arrange a tactical computation for the recommended maneuver so that we can optimize for the crew the best possible protection. So here you can see three types of ammunition. So this, uh, this ammunition is Galix 13. So this is the premium ammunition up to two minutes duration depending on weather condition it is based on really smoke and brass flakes okay so this is instantaneous smoke payload so with a brass flakes within one second we can have a fully deployed smoke screen okay 300 meters long six meters high very big screen so that the, the, the crew behind is protected for a long long time and it can move and run away. So here we have a Galix so 17i. This ammunition is for training or for light armored vehicles. You need 30 seconds protection. It's enough for this kind of light vehicles and you can manage behind the screen. And in the middle, you have a Galix 46. So this ammunition is dedicated for law enforcement. So when you you want to disengage crowd around the vehicle, you can use it because you have two effects. One effect is the rubber pellet and the second effect is tear gas, okay? And here you can see the control unit that we use with another type of detection which is based on laser. We can use laser detection system so that we can defeat cornet, for example, and a laser designator or laser telemeter. So with Nimer, it's a long-lasting uh, partner. Started with Binjaber, then Nimer, and now it's part of Edge. So it's a 20 years cooperation. More than 500 Nimer vehicles are equipped with our Gallic system. For the time being, it's reaction, and we are working now to bring the full package from detection to reaction with a recommended maneuver. There was an opening ceremony for this vehicle two days ago. So we, we uh, disclosed, unveiled this new system. It, you can see it directly on the top of the vehicle. You have an acoustic pillar from Metravip Defense with whom we are cooperating. You, are, you will see the reaction. We have so 16 uh, launchers so that we can provide 360 degree protection. And you have also the display 
you can see the recommended maneuver. There is uh, so the, the, the screen, uh, human machine interface inside the vehicle. So I invite you to have a look there. My name is uh, Stefan Muller. I'm uh, in the UAE since 14 years, working for Hensol since three years now. I'm head of the region for business development and I'm covering all Middle East, Turkey and Pakistan and I'm in charge of three offices, one based in Abu Dhabi, one in Riyadh and one in Ankara. So IDEX is the first exhibition in 2021 after this pandemic and we are extremely happy of the quality of this show currently. The visitors we are receiving on our booth are extremely accurate and business focused and it is very interesting. Hensolt has a portfolio of more than 500 products and to designate two which are our core product during this exhibition is the Preciser radar which is one of our newest products and a extremely good radar and our expeller system, which is a counter drone, which is really required by the customer in this uh, period. So my name is Pierre Marquis, and I'm in charge of sales for Preciser Airborne Surveillance Radar. Uh, so Preciser is installed new Airborne Surveillance Radar for air, sea and uh, land uh, missions. It's an expand radar for special mission aircraft, uh, helicopters and UAVs. It has a large diversity of modes, uh, including SAR and MTI. Uh, offering high resolution imagery, top performance, uh, 360 degree coverage and can be easily integrated as it's only uh, one single component. So it makes things very easy for maintenance and installation purpose. Hello, I'm uh, Aurélien de Rouvray, I'm a country uh, director for the UAE for Hensolt. Uh, today I would like to introduce uh, to you our uh, counter drone uh, and uh, how basically it's uh, working. So our counter drone is uh, based with uh, a radar uh, detection uh, combined with a, a, a identification a camera, infrared camera for identification. Uh, this uh, information will be sent to a component control software where you can decide to either jam the signal so the drone will be uh, uh, not able anymore to communicate with the pilot or you can decide to send this uh, other drone which is equipped with a net and will just capture the drone, we call it soft kill, and will put somewhere else so the drone will not disturb the environment where you want to protect. My name is Pavel Doshko. I'm a business development director at Excalibur Army, uh, which is a Czech company, part of the Czechoslovak Group holding. Of course, Excalibur Army is a prime company in the Czech Republic in the field of uh, military vehicles production. And IDEX is the biggest event in this field, so this is definitely an event that we cannot miss. Uh, we're showcasing, firstly, the 155 mm Hovitzer, the DITA which is a new product uh, that we are introducing as a premiere at this show. And we are also introducing our 4x4 uh, medium class uh, APC, the Patriot 2. The DITA is a new system that is very innovative and automated. It's, it's a 155mm Hovitzer of 45 calibers. It's based on a 8x8 Tatra chassis that gives it perfect performance uh, in the hardest of terrain and perfect passability. It's equipped with a ballistically protected cabin of our own design that is certified and tested. And huge advantage is high level of automation of the complete system. Because all of the crew is actually located in the cabin and it's just a driver and the commander. Because the system is uh, completely automated from the point of both loading of ammunition of both the grenades and the propellant charges as well as in the guidance system because the vehicle is equipped with a very powerful onboard uh, control system which gets all of the data about the ammunition about the firing uh, 
coordinates and everything. It is equipped with uh, a GPS system and inertia navigation, which feed the data into the ballistic computer, which is then able to work either, either as the vehicle completely autonomously or to receive the firing mission from a higher level of command. And basically, the commander, all he can do is basically just to push a button and, and the mission can be executed. And the ballistic computer does all of that as it selects the right round, the right uh, propellant charge for the firing mission at hand. So our second vehicle that we are displaying uh, at IDEX 2021 is the Patriot 4x4, which is a medium-class armored personnel uh, carrier. Uh, it is basically a 4x4 Tatra chassis, which is very similar to the Tatra chassis that you would see running on the Rally Paris Dakar, which gives you probably the best idea about its performance it has in the terrain and the capabilities it provides uh, to the operator. The Patriot 4x4 is a modular platform that can be modified to the customer in a way of armoring, in the way of engine use, transmission use, and most importantly, the module uh, for the mission kit that is required. Because it can serve as an uh, APC, it can serve as a firefighting vehicle, uh, which we built for the Czech firefighters. It can be NBC reconnaissance vehicle, ATGM carrier, basically whatever configuration is required, our engineers in the Czech Republic can modify the vehicle to suit the needs of the customer. Uh, my name is Liam Carville, I'm the project manager for uh, Armoured Solutions, which is part of Defence Industries. Okay, behind us we have Armoured Solutions A6800, which is a 6.8 tonne um, chassis based APC light armour vehicle. What Armoured Solutions are trying to do is get into the market for small lightweight armoured vehicles. Um, the base of the vehicle that we use is the F550, Ford F550 chassis. Uh, the reason for that is it's pretty common across the industry, uh, readily available, easily maintainable and very reliable. What we wanted to do is actually offer a vehicle with a higher spec at you know, a very competitive price. So for example, uh, competitor companies will offer you the ballistic capsule on the chassis and everything else comes as options. But because we're providing directly to the military, we want to provide our vehicle with all the requirements that you should have on an armoured personnel carrier. So things like uh, suspension upgrades, brake upgrades, steering upgrades, all come as standard, as well as additional equipment, fire suppression systems in the wheel bays, the engine compartment, uh, inert gas, fire suppression systems inside the vehicle, blast flooring, blast seats, uh, tire inflation systems on our vehicle, all come as standard. So it's a 6.7 litre Ford diesel uh, torque engine. Uh, that gives us about 400 to 450 brake horsepower depending on the fuel quality that you're using. That's then connected to a, a 10 speed uh, auto box uh, which gives us a two wheel drive option or 4x4 with interchangeable high and low range. Yes, my name is Holger. I work for Alcia Marine Company. Alcia Marine supplies and equipment is a local company here in Abu Dhabi. We are originally a boat builder and we have started since uh, many years ago, we have started to develop unmanned systems. We have started to build and produce unmanned boats and we have moved further from the water to the land to the amphibious part of unmanned ground vehicles, uh, vehicles and unmanned amphibious vehicles as well. These are all in-house produced, we design, we build and we train and maintain as well. We don't just leave our products out for the customers, we make sure that we give the support anyone requires who buys our products. We have here behind me an eight-wheeler, an eight-type wheeler, an unmanned vehicle capable of actually going into the water. It's an amphibious vehicle and um, it can be completely uh, remote controlled. Um, the system, the software developed by Alcia Marine in-house and um, we believe that this is one product of the niche market of the amphibious vehicles here in the region.
As we have done some um, market research, of course, um, we have not so far found um, amphibious vehicles which are here to be bought off the shelf. And also if you look around here, you can see boats. Um, hardly unmanned boats. This is also us, what we are showing here, the only ones showing this in the live demo. Um, you can see, of course, many unmanned ground vehicles, but the half of the, the mixture of the land and water, the amphibious part of it, um, we have not seen so far. That's really a unique product.